Hello everyone! In this video, we'll discuss your first major project in the course, which is the Narrative Project. Before viewing this video, please take a moment to read the project handout and rubric to familiarize yourself with the project expectations. This video will focus on expanding upon these details while highlighting the most important aspects of the project. Now, let's begin. When looking at the handout, you'll see the first section focuses on explaining the overall purpose of the project, which is to compose a narrative in which you illustrate a story about an experience you had within a community of interest. Whether you've composed a personal narrative or not, I provide many details about the conventions of this genre, not only in this project handout, but also within the module materials. The purpose of narrative writing is to illustrate a story of significance. For our project, I'm asking that you illustrate a story about an experience you had within a community of interest. The concept of community, as well as examples of communities that you may identify with and use for this project, are discussed more within the module lessons. The important thing to note now is that you're being asked to write about a specific community that you're connected to and that you will be using this community theme for other projects within our course. In this project, the narrative, you will be tasked with bringing a story to life through the use of vivid details and first-person perspective. The purpose of doing so is to reveal a profound meaning of your story with an audience. Narrative writing is more than storytelling alone. Instead, by sharing stories, we are able to gain new insight or uncover significant messages that impact a writer as well as the audience. Now let's look at the direction portion of the handout here. In this section, you'll learn more about the specific expectations for the project, including topic expectations, length requirements, and content and organization strategies. You'll see that I also describe an approach to tackling this project, which begins by identifying the community you'll discuss in this project, as well as other assignments in the course. And that's really on this portion right here. After you've identified that community, one of the most important and potentially challenging aspects of this project will be selecting an event to illustrate. Here on this portion, I share many details about how to navigate selecting an appropriate and powerful topic for your narrative. Two of these expectations that I'll emphasize now in this video are first to be sure that you discuss a specific, narrow, and brief event in the narrative. So instead of describing a story that spans a significant amount of time, or that is a series of events, I'm asking you to focus in on a narrow event, something that occurred over a few hours or possibly a day or two. This expectation exists because narratives are meant to allow a story to come to life. And when, des when describing a lengthy event, this becomes difficult to do, especially in the scope of our specific project. In your narrative, you will use vivid details to describe characters, setting, and gradually reveal the moments of your event. Focusing in on a briefer time frame will allow you to do so and pull out all the small details that will help your audience feel as if they are there with you. Now, the second topic expectation that I'll discuss here is avoiding discussing traumatic events in the narrative. So you'll see that here on the handout. This exists as it can sometimes be difficult to deeply reflect on these types of events as narrative writing expects us to do. And it's not fair for me to assess an event so personal to you. Instead, I recommend focusing on everyday events and ones that may surprisingly or unexpectedly be incredibly meaningful, such as packing a lunch for your kids, assisting a stranger at the grocery store, or even learning to drive. Events like this that initially appear simple or small often reveal some of the most profound messages that a diverse audience resonates with. And this is a key expectation of the project, to leave an audience with a profound message. If you're unsure about a topic or wanting assistance brainstorming ideas, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. I'm happy to help you with any stage of your writing processes at any point of our class. Finally, the handout describes 
key conventions of narrative writing that you'll need to incorporate, along with organization expectations. The narrative should be at least 1,000 words and composed using MLA format, which includes a standard font, like Times New Roman, and double spacing. The narrative should illustrate your specific story with vivid details and first-person perspective, while gradually unveiling a central theme that is significant. Remember to consider what is the purpose of your story, and why will that be meaningful not only to you, but also your audience. This purpose or profound message should be woven into the entire narrative, instead of simply told to an audience in the beginning or end. The narrative should also include an introduction, body, and conclusion paragraphs. And it should include a thesis statement. These expectations, and especially how we are meeting these expectations through narrative conventions, are discussed much more in depth in the module. So I suggest, suggest excuse me, closely reviewing this material. Finally, remember I am always here and happy to help. Otherwise, I look forward to reading your narrative soon. Thanks for your time.